Hey guys, Cast72 here. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, today's video, I wanted to go over the um, the Tello drone. Now, I like the Tello drone a lot, and for being such a small drone, I love the way it maneuvers. I love the way it handles. The only downfall that I see in it and that I don't like is the the video quality. Um, it doesn't matter if you have a Wi-Fi extender on it or if you're in a clear filled area with your Bluetooth off, cell phone data off, and you're just communicating strictly through the Wi-Fi extender. The video is just shoddy, shopped up, um, kind of comes in and out of focus. Uh, it's, it's just not good quality and that's the only downside I see. I'm not sure why they couldn't create a better, um, you know megapixel camera for that specific drone so what I decided to do um, I was thinking about and I said you know you know there's got to be a way to modify that that camera now I did another video on some lenses that I uh, modified and um, came out pretty good it, the, the mod was just giving it a wider view a fisheye view um, and, and it worked out great but I'm moving on now and I, I even though the lens offers those kind of different options for viewing as you're flying with the drone it just doesn't uh, it doesn't work for me uh, that's why you hardly see me making videos with the drone the Tello so what I decided to do is I bought a run cam too a long time ago and everyone knows run cams are basically made for FPV and a lot of drone racing drones use them and uh, the one I have happens to be 4K. So what the video will be about today, and I'm going to do a voiceover, um, it's going to be a teardown of the Run Cam 2, and then uh, adjusting it onto my Tello. Now I've reduced as much weight as possible with the Tello. Um, I even got rid of the heat sink, which it's I haven't had time to clean it yet, but that just needs to be cleaned up. Um, it, it's not going to affect it in any way. I'm not sure why they put the heat sink on there along with the case underneath. It it overheats. Um, I've I've explained that in another video I made on the Tello. Um, so anyway, that's what I want to do today, guys. Is basically turn this camera into a 4K, and uh, in assisting with that, it's going to be the Runcam 2 uh, inner workings that are going to make this happen. So. I'm sorry if I keep looking this way. I'm, I keep forgetting the <laughs> the lenses over here on this left side. Anyway, um, so yeah, let's go ahead and go over that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to explain what I'm doing over voiceover. I've, I, I did it by pictures. I didn't want to bore you guys with um, time lapse. Uh, I kind of wanted just to bring the photos to your attention and w explain what I did at the time uh, the photo was taken. I think there's a small video I include in there somewhere because there's something I need to explain, but we'll go over that. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy it. And again, let's see if we can get this Tello some 4K video as opposed to the shoddy, not so good video quality it has now. And um, I have my hopes up. I think it's going to work. So, all right, guys, hope you enjoy. Let's get on with it. So okay guys, we'll try to go over this real quick. It was really simple. Here you have the shell of the run cam 2, the four screws, everything uh, basically. Here's the inner working parts of the run cam 2, which is the unit itself and the battery. And here I wanted to show you that the case itself with all the screws, everything was 25 grams total. And on the inner working parts, which was the run cam itself along with the battery was at 34 grams. Um, and here again, I just wanted to show you again, I weighed it out and like I said, 34 grams for the uh, run cam and the battery and 24 grams for the shell, um, which was everything included that comes, you know, aside from the inner working parts of the run cam too. And then here is the Tello drone at 75 grams, bare bones. This is about as bare as you're going to get it. There's nothing more you can take off of it. And here I wanted to show you guys that I used epoxy along with a popsicle stick to brace the battery housing, but mainly for the for the camera so that it doesn't vibrate during um, flight. Uh, it'll be a real steady uh, visual when re video recordings performed. 
Uh, here I did a sticky tape to hold the battery in place, just added security uh, so it doesn't fly off, which it, I doubt it won't. This is not a high running drone, uh, it's a toy drone basically. And then that's with the um, sticky adhesive exposed. Here's another view from it uh, on the left side and uh, the, finished, the finished product. And here I just secured it with some electrical tape again, just precautionary measures. But again, it's a toy drone. It's not going to be flying that fast, but you know, you never know. Here I wanted to show you that I covered the electrical components, the, the system board itself with some uh, electrical tape to prevent any shorting out. Uh, here's the foam pad that I use to help with vibration on the camera itself and to mount the camera. I needed to angle it just above the uh, propellers uh, to keep it out of view and that's the finished result. And again, with the camera and the foam, you're looking at 36 grams added to the Tello. Okay guys, I know that was a little bit quick, but um, I didn't want to take too much of your time. And it was a real simple mod. I would say all in all, uh, it probably took me maybe 35, 45 minutes. Wasn't, didn't take long at all. Just really what took a little while was the epoxy drying, but it was a five minute set epoxy, so wasn't much of, a, of an issue. Um, uh, don't mind the red fingers. I was snacking on some uh, like hot chips with that chili paste on them, so I couldn't get my fingers cleaned off before I did the video, and it's getting kind of late already as it is. Uh, so I'm sure you guys got questions. Um, so before I get all the negative feedback on the comments, first of all, I did this because it's my preference. I'm a modder. I love doing stuff like this, and to me, I enjoy it. So no, I didn't ruin the drone. It still flies. It still handles just great. Um, the other thing is I wanted to show you that see how the top comes off so no it's it's not a permanent um, ordeal I can buy another cover plate and I can put that on the Tello no big deal and this one will, this one will have the camera installed on it as you can see it's not gonna fall the epoxy is gonna hold really well try to give you a quick look around on it now, if you're wondering another question, how do I know where the buttons are? It's pretty simple. You can see the perforations on the electrical tape. So if I want to turn it on, that's the on button. That's the Wi-Fi button. Okay. Um, so the drone's not ruined. And like I said, if I ever want to go back to the original state, which I don't see me doing that, it, why give up a 4K camera? video quality for a tello as opposed to what's already on there now there's really not too much wrong with this uh camera except that i'm telling you guys if you look at every youtube video out there everyone that does a tello video there's portions of it that look perfect and then within a couple of seconds or a minute you get the jitter or you get the the video disturbance and it it just doesn't look good it it doesn't at all and this is going to change that and that's why I did it again like I said that's how come I never really made too many videos with the teledrone cuz I I love the way it handles and flies but I just don't like the video quality it just looks terrible um so flight times okay that's another question you guys are going to have it's terrible weather today it's wet outside it's cold and I was able to get a small run for you guys to see that it does work and it handles just fine um, but that was before I made the modifications to help stop the um, camera vib vibration so you might see a little bit that of that on the video it's not really bad and it's not a whole lot this put an end to that but because it's pretty terrible outside I, I can't fly it anymore I don't want to ruin it because now it's exposed you know there's no shell on the um, on the run cam which is probably another question you all have is like well what about the outside surroundings and you know what about how you you know preventing rain and dust and dirt um, getting on the run cam well first of all I'd know better than to be flying my drone when it's raining if it's a dusty climate area this is basically a toy drone you're only gonna get about I think the factory standard is 13 minutes of flight uh, so brings the next question how long does it fly with this uh, run cam on it well that's what you and I are gonna test on the next video um, I did a small run I think I did it about six minutes of flight and it still had plenty to go but the weather outside was getting bad um, just to show you I'll put up here on the video a short screen capture of the weather conditions we're having today in San Antonio 
Otherwise, I would have loved to have flown this to its full potential to get you guys an accurate uh, flight time on it. Um, what else am I thinking about here? Other than that, guys, that's really it. I just wanted to share that with you. Um, from the small video I took, man, the, the, the quality of the video looks so much better than what it did with the actual Tello camera. So um, I think that's going to be a, a plus. And uh, you'll probably see me flying it a lot more now because um, I'm content with the video quality as opposed to before. And um, I guess if you have any other questions, I'm trying to cover things you might you guys might be asking me. But if you have any other questions, just leave them in the comments below. Um, I always respond. And uh, yeah, it's just a simple mod. I don't expect a lot of people to understand it or like it. But hey, that I do. And that's all that matters. It's, it's, it's an awesome mod in my opinion. So... All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and run some video now of a short flight test that I did. And then, like I said, I'll do a thorough flight uh, so, you so you guys can understand how long it'll actually last with the weight of the um, uh, Run Cam 2 on here. Oh, I know what I wanted to tell you guys. I did see a video out there where some people were putting the um, this little guy, the Polaroid Cube 2. On the Tello, the thing is, is that this weighs 55 grams. This weighed 50 grams before deducting all the weight that I did, which was, uh, I think, what was it, 32 grams? I think we on the video that I was playing. Um, so yeah, this was far too heavy for the Tello. I don't even know how those guys got it to fly for the extended amount of time, other than maybe putting another battery in it. A battery in it and continuing the video which that's another thing we all know that the tello flies between 12 and 13 minutes of flight depending on how rough you're flying it you know and the wind conditions and all these factors i would say that even if i get 10 minutes of flight i've got three batteries that's 30 minutes of flight with a 4k camera so I see it as a plus all the way around, guys. But enough of me going on. Let's go ahead and play the video. I'm sure that's what you guys really want to see. It's a short video. I'll definitely do another one after this, uh, indicating how long the uh, drone lasts up in the air with this additional weight on it. Uh, but give me some time. I, I'll get around to it, I promise. And okay, guys, appreciate it. And I enjoy you watching. Hope you enjoy. Peace out, guys.